What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Madison, Wisconsin, which is about two hours south of my house. My daughter's dog is at the vet and uh, we have to wait around until four o'clock this afternoon. So we got like 10 hours to kill, something like that, like 10 hours to kill. So we decided uh, we we're going to go check out this wildlife area and do a little herping and see if we can find something. It's going to be a cool one for you guys because I've never been here. So we're going to go on this adventure together. So stick with us. Excited, Destiny? See what we can find? Yeah. Awesome. Stick with us. Hopefully we'll find some cool stuff for you today. Alright guys, so behind me, you probably think it's just a big dirt hill. But believe it or not, these hills are actually mounds that were created by the Native Americans pre-19th century. They used them for all sorts of things, ceremonies, seasonal change markers, and also burial sites. So we're going to show you a few of them along the way. They're all over spread out out here, and it's pretty cool to see. You think it's just a dirt hill, but it's actually something that was created by Native Americans pre-19th century. Check this out. So we didn't catch me catching it because it was right on the trail. We had actually all but given up on finding snakes today. It has been raining for about, what, five days straight. So everything is soaking wet and we have literally, we haven't been finding nothing. No frogs, no salamanders, no snakes, no nothing. So we gave up, we put the camera in the truck. We were just going for a walk to check out this pet swimming area. And right on the trail is this beautiful, beautiful garter snake. Now you can see he's a little scared, he's being defensive. Right, he's filling up his mouth. He's saying, you're a big, big, scary animal, and I am scared of you. Please don't eat me, because I'm big and ferocious. But really, he's completely harmless, and he is just scared and wants me to let him go so he can be on his way. But how cool is that? We've been out here, literally, we've been out here all day. I don't know if you can tell, I am sweating. We gave up, put the camera away. We were having a break, and we seen this little trail, and said, yeah, let's just wander down there. And of course, we find a snake. How awesome is that? We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go right back where he was going. He was sitting on this trail. He tried heading towards that way. And uh, awesome, we found a snake. Heck yeah. There you go, buddy. You can see he just dipped right away. He wasn't being mean, he was scared. As soon as I let him go, he took off. As a matter of fact, I can't even see him walk. Cool, well, I guess let's continue this walk and maybe we'll find something else. Of course, as soon as we left the camera in the truck, now we start seeing stuff. It's a white-tailed doe. Oh, it's cruising. She 
cutting some grass. She's not being bothered by us none. There's actually her fawns. We just are gonna take off right back behind here. So that is pretty cool. Awesome. awesome. All right, everyone. So herping today was a complete bust. I mean, what do you expect? It rained for five days straight and today it's 92 degrees. So we decided we are in Madison and it's been a long time since I've been at uh, the most amazing reptile store that I've ever seen, Reptile Rapture. So let's go ahead, let's go inside, check things out. Show you guys some of the amazing stuff that they are working with here at Reptile Rapture. Check out this. I don't know if you guys can see it in there, just a little bit. I'm trying to get a clearer shot for you. That right there, you guys recognize that from my channel. I have a pair at home, but that is a female sunbeam, which is something you don't see very often at pet stores because 99% of them don't actually have the capabilities of getting these seeds to feed and thrive. But here at Reptile Rapture, they got it down to a science. I don't know, let me know in the comments. You guys think I should uh, pick up this female for my group? guys was that a cool store or what unfortunately for you guys not for me but for you uh, Will Nace was up in Florida filming Reptile Rapture that's right I got to meet Will Nace finally after lots and lots of uh, messages and following back and forth of me supposed to be going to his place uh, which that's still coming up in the near future I'm gonna take a trip down to Florida and go see Will's place but yeah I mean, what a small world. Walk into Reptile Rapture, and Will Nace is sitting there. So, uh, the store was pretty busy filming him stuff. They didn't uh, know that I was even coming, so we did, you know, you guys seen what we seen. It was pretty cool. We are back at the vet station now. Uh, Daisy should be done with her surgery and, you know, her recuperation. We'll be picking her up here in a couple minutes, and, we head, and then uh, we'll be headed back home. So, stay tuned. All right, guys. We got Daisy all loaded up. She is a little bit groggy. She got fixed and microchipped today. So, uh, yeah, she's gonna be a little out of it. She's got a cone that she's gotta wear for the next couple weeks. Uh, so she's not licking and chewing on everything. So we're gonna go ahead and get driving back home. I know today was a weird video. Everything that we tried 
didn't really work out the way we wanted to, but you know what? We're going to take you guys along on the journey no matter what we're doing. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, smash that like button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more upcoming videos. And until next time, you've been watching What's in Your Backyard with Joe Challoner. We'll see you later.